Hello students, welcome back, back to my channel, CGAT Maths. In this video, we are going to concentrate an example based on improper integrals, that is to convert a given integral in terms of a gamma function and evaluate this. So it's very simple example student. So we are using the first form of gamma function. Gamma of n is equal to integral runs from 0 to infinity e raised to minus t into t raised to n minus 1 into dt. So I have taken the variable of integration as t for our convenience and uh, you just call it as some equation number one and uh, you can take the first integral as i1 i1 is integral runs from 0 to infinity x e raised to minus x raised to 8 to d and uh, similarly i2 is taken as integral runs from 0 to infinity x square into e raised to minus x raised to 4 into okay, try to concentrate it's a very simple one students okay now look at here the power of exponential should be the variable uh, any variable either x or t right its power should be 1 so for that purpose here i'm going to substitute this is x raised to 8 as some t. Here in this we are going to substitute x raised to 4 as some t. So you differentiate, okay? differentiate it will become 8 x raised to 7 into dx equal to dt. Okay? And uh, I, here I want x dx student. So for that, 8 x raised to 6 into x dx is equal to dt or x dx is equal to which is dt divided by 8 x raised to 6. So we need to convert x in terms of t therefore x becomes student t raised to 1 by 8. This 8 goes to right side will become 1 by 8. So this will become dt divided by 8 into x value is t raised to 1 by 8 to whole raised to 6. t raised to 1 by 8 whole raised to 6 becomes 6 by 8 that is 3 by 4. This is dt divided by 8 into t raised to 3 by 4 uh, is the value of x dx student. Similarly here you need to substitute x raised to 4 is equal to t and 4x cube dx is equal to dt. Here I want x square dx. So for that, I can write 4x into x square dx is equal to dt. So x square into dx equal to dt divided by 4x. So what is the value of x here? x is equal to t raised to 1 by 4. So x square dx is equal to dt divided by 4 into x value is t raised to 1 by 4. Now let us substitute these values in the above two integrals and observe what will happen. Now the value of i1 becomes here I have not written the or I have not changed the limits here and also you can change limits here. So when uh, x equal to 0 when x equal to 0 t becomes 0 and uh, when x equal to infinity t becomes infinity. t is valid in both the cases. 
please you can also write when x equal to 0 t value is 0 when x equal to infinity t value equal to infinity therefore i1 becomes integral runs from 0 to infinity further this new variable t so x value is x dx x dx value is is dt divided by 8 t raised to 3 by 4 student into e raised to minus x raised to 8 is taken as t here uh, in i2 this is the integral runs from 0 to infinity new variable and uh, x square dx is uh, which is uh, dt divided by t raised to 1 by 4 into e raised to minus t now look at this carefully students now this i1 is equal to 0 to infinity this is e raised to minus t you can take 1 by 8 outside the integral so it will become t raised to minus t by 4 goes to numerator into t this is equal to 1 by 8 times of integral runs from 0 to infinity or t e raised to minus t into e raised to minus 3 by 4 into dt written as it is so you call it as some equation number 2 because previously we have called it as equation number 1 what is equation number 1 students equation number 1 is integral runs from 0 to infinity e raised to minus t x raised to n minus 1 dx value is gamma of n look at in place of n minus 1 you have got minus 3 by 4 remaining are as it is so that is uh, this is equal to student uh, you can compare with this okay, what will you get uh, we will get in place of n minus 1 we have got minus 3 by 4 so n is equal to this is 1 minus 3 by 4 uh, n value is 4 minus 3 this is 1 by 4 uh, so therefore this i1 becomes i1 becomes Okay. This I1 becomes to write 1 by 8 as it is. So this total becomes this total becomes student gamma of n value is 1 by 4. Actually, what happens here? This uh, minus 3 by 4 or this is uh, t raised to this uh, minus 3 by 4 can be written as student uh, that is uh, 1 by 4 minus 1 it is in the form of n minus 1 so n value is 1 by 4 that's what we have written gamma of 1 by 4 similarly in i2 what happens this is uh, t runs from 0 to infinity this is e raised to minus t this is t raised to minus 1 by 4 into uh, dt so again you can compare so you will get n minus 1 equal to minus 1 by 4 so n is equal to 1 plus 1 by 4 1 minus 1 by 4 so this is 3 by 4 student n value therefore this i2 becomes i2 becomes just wait here this is
actually here it is dt value x square dx value is here uh, this is four times student we have forgotten to return okay, you can write now so this will become now observe this carefully so this will become uh, 1 by uh, actually this is 4 means 1 by 4 is outside 1 by 4 is outside so remaining should be uh, here I here also I need to write 1 by 4 so therefore this will become minus 1 by 4 can be written in terms of n minus 1 it will become a gamma of 3 by 4 state. So you have got I1 as well as I2. Finally, you can multiply it. Therefore, I1 into I2 is equal to 1 by 8 into gamma of 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 into gamma of 3 by 4. So this will become 1 by 32. 8 for the 32 into you have gamma of 1 by 4 into gamma of 3 by 4. As usual, we know that gamma of 1 by 4 into gamma of 3 by 4 is pi root 2. Therefore, it is equal to pi root 2 divided by 32 can be written as in 2 za. Further, pi root 2 divided by 16 into 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2 root 2 root 2 cancel student we get pi divided by in root that's it thank you so much for watching we'll meet in the next video student